we are going to look about the picture analogies let us see what do mean by picture analogies first it is very simple kids what you need to do is just count the number of figures here 1 1 2 3 and 4 you have to find it out the fourth figure okay like what would be the what would be the fourth figure before that what you need to do is you have to develop a relationship between the first and the second figure the same relationship you have to develop in the third and fourth picture look how this first picture is related to the second picture similarly you have to relate the third one with the fourth one it is interesting right yes so let us see. let us do the first problem here there is a heart you can look the first figure is a heart what about the second figure the heart is flipped okay the heart is flipped the pointed edge is downward and the other edge is upward here the pointed edge is upward and the flower edge is downward similarly what is the third figure this is a relationship between the first and the second figure they are flipped now coming to third figure it is an arrow okay kids now how did the heart flip the pointed edge was in the downward now in the second figure the pointed edge is upward similarly here the pointed edge is downward so what would be the fourth figure yes guess yes kids the pointed edge will be in the upward so the same arrow will be like this okay kids so what is the answer a no it is not flipped vertically b no it is not at all changed the uh, third figure was the third figure only what about c yes the pointed edge is in the upward direction so c is the answer see how simple it is just you need to develop a relationship between the first and the second figure and represent the same relationship between the third and the fourth figure that's it so coming to the second problem how is the second problem kids there is a four sided figure or rectangle even the second figure is a rectangle and the corners of the rectangle are joined with the diagonals this point to this point this point to this point the opposite sides are joined what is the third figure it is a oval here what would be the fourth figure kids just think for 2 seconds yes kids it also will be a oval with the opposite sides or the opposite there are no corners to circle so you have to just cross or there is an x the figure x inside the oval here also there is an x inside the square so is a the right answer no here there is plus sign horizontal and the vertical line this is the vertical and this is the horizontal line no here it is an x the letter x it is inserted and here no it is not the correct answer so b is the correct answer look how simple it is yes look at the third figure you are there with a three sided figure that is a triangle there is also a small triangle inside where the pointed edge is upward and this small triangle is filled this is the first figure what about the second figure the same figure is flipped down look here the pointed edge is upward here the pointed edge is downward similarly here there is an arrow where the pointed edge is up what would be the fourth figure mark just think for 2 seconds it will be down side so 
so which this is an arrow here it is filled towards the point side so first you have to look at that it is filled towards the point side no this is not at all the answer this is filled towards the point side yes this is filled towards the point side yes but according to the relationship the point at side should be downwards so c is the answer look how easy it is right yes Coming to the fourth figure, it is an oval or a circle. It is divided into two parts, and only the half part is represented, and it is filled. Okay. Coming to the third figure, it is a rectangle. Now you have to represent only a half rectangle, which is empty, which is very simple, and it has to be filled. Okay, so what is the answer? Yes, it is the answer because the upper part is represented and it is present. The lower part is cut and removed. So here also we have to take the upper part with a fill rectangle. Yes. Coming to the fifth figure, there is a circle which is divided into two halves, and the first one is filled and the second one is empty. The same. Diagram is in the second picture, but the first part is empty and the second part is full. Coming to the third picture, there is a rectangle. Again, this is divided into two equal parts with a horizontal line, and the first part is full and the second part is empty. What would be the fourth figure, kids? Just think for two seconds. Yes, the same rectangle which is divided into two equal parts. And the first side is empty, and the second side is filled. Yes, it very good. So B is our answer. Very good. Look how simple and how interesting are these picture analogies. Coming to the next set, there is a square. Okay, there is a square which is filled. This is the first figure. There is again an another square with the vertical lines filled all over. Now you have to observe the third figure. It is a triangle and it is filled all over. What would be the fourth figure case? It is very simple. There is also okay. Think for two seconds. Just two seconds. Yes. Yes, kids. There also should be a triangle, and it has to be divided with the vertical lines. You know, right? This is a vertical line, and this is a horizontal line. So, this is a vertical line. Okay, this is a vertical line, and this is a horizontal line. Here, the second figure is filled with the vertical lines. So here also, the fourth figure will be filled with the vertical lines. So is A the answer? No, because it is filled with the horizontal lines. No. Here, it is empty figure. It cannot be the answer. So C is your right answer. Very good. Very good. Case. Coming the second one, you can see it is the C. The letter C. Okay, I am telling about this C. Look, C or look. Okay. So here is the letter C, and you are exactly drawing the mirror image. You know what is a mirror image? If a C is put on the mirror, it will look like this. This is the mirror image. Now, what about D? When you put D like this, what would be the mirror image? Tell me, kids. This curve will be like this. This would be the mirror image of that. So if you can also look like this. If you are confused between the mirror image, here the open side it is the closed side and this is the open side. So the open side are faced to each other in the mirror image. Similarly, there is a curve, right? Even here also will be a curve. That is how the mirror will show you, and there will be a line. That's it. Is the answer. This is how the mirror looks like. 
If you want, you can just write C letter on your hand and you can go to the mirror and you can see. And how does it look? You can just observe different letters, not only C. You can write any of your favorite letter and do. Yes, it. Now, coming back to the next problem, that is third one. What is the series of numbers given? 1, 2 and 3. How they are interchanged? They are interchanged 3, 2 and 1. Like the reverse. So, what about the third one? There are letters A, B and C. So, what would be the answer? You have to interchange the letters. It's very easy. The third letter will be the first letter, second letter is the second letter and the first letter is the last letter. C, B, A. Okay, this is how it is the answer. I hope you understood the picture analogies. So, today I am giving you the last two problems as a homework. You have to solve these two questions and you have to post in our Instagram page. And I'll be checking your answers and I'll be super excited to see your correct answers. I know all, our, all of my kids are super fast and super intelligent. Okay, hope you have enjoyed the today's session and again we'll meet with the more interesting topics in the next upcoming session. Until then, bye-bye, take care. Thank you. Hope you enjoy your class videos. Hit the subscribe and bell button below to get regular updates about our video releases.